What is going on guys? We're going to come to this video and today we're going to be talking about Tenet. It moved its release date from July 17th, 2020 to July 31st, 2020. And I'm going to be explaining why I think this is a natural disaster waiting to happen and how Tenet is in danger of losing money. And it's not because it moved two weeks. In fact, I think that still, it was in a bad position to begin with. Coming out July 17th, I thought was a stupid idea. And then it coming out two weeks later, they're going to move their dates two weeks. It's not about COVID-19. That's not why they moved their dates. I can guarantee that because if it was about COVID-19, two weeks with a pandemic ain't going to solve shit. It, it, it's just facts. It's not. Cases are going up. People are scared. People who knew people who got infected and people with families who got infected, they're terrified to go out there. So why would they risk going out to a movie to like with other people? Yes, like people will wear masks. It's not guaranteed though. There's going to be people out there that don't wear masks. It's because it's not a it's not a freaking law to wear a mask during this pandemic in a movie theater, which to me scratches my head. But with that aside. I don't think people are ready to come back. And I know there's going to be like a group of people who are going to be watching this or a group of people out there in general who just don't care and want to just go watch a movie because I've seen people in group, large groups in like public areas with no masks because they just don't care. And they're by putting themselves at risk, they're putting other people's at risk. And I know that in the back of other people's minds, including myself, that's going to be a factor if they should go to a movie or not. And as much as I want to see Tenet, as much as I love Christopher Nolan, I, I can't support this and I won't go to the movies if it's coming out July 31st because I have asthma. My entire family has asthma. So we're at large risk. Thankfully, we don't have any elderly in our, in our household, but there's elderly around us in our neighborhood. So we're going to have to look out for them. But I'm mostly worried about my family. And that's a factor. And I just don't think Tenet, long story short, is going to make its money. Tenet is, I believe, Christopher Nolan's second most expensive movie just under The Dark Knight Rises. But with The Dark Knight Rises, there was no risk because, A, it was the third in a trilogy. And it's Batman, for God's sakes. So it's already established. It's a, a, it's a well-known character that everybody loves. And it's coming off the heels of... Of the Dark Knight, which everyone praises and everybody loves, and I'm pretty sure that made a billion dollars. And when a billion dollars was something to actually look at, and he was like, "Wow, that's insane." We don't have that luxury. Tenet is a completely original movie, which I'm not saying that is like a downside for Christopher Nolan, because Christopher Nolan is the only one that is able to sell original movies in today's age. People like to bicker, complain. Oh my God. There's no such thing as original content, but it's literally sitting in front of them all over the place. Like my favorite, one of my favorite original movies is Kubo and the Two Strings. Love that movie. Completely love it. Made no money. In fact, I'm pretty sure I lost the studio money. It was a $90 million budget. I think only grossed 70, which is a huge loss. Some people might think, oh, that's 20 million. You got to realize that you got to add it for that kind of movie, an extra 20, 30 million for marketing. They lost a lot of money, which is not okay. With, but even with Nolan's original concept and his name stamped on it, you have a pandemic. A lot of people don't know what this movie is really about. I'm talking about like the casual movie going audience. Like with Inception, the trailers, you're like, okay, this is about dream bending. It's still weird, but we can grab a concept of it. With Tenet, at least for me, I look at this. I'm like, what the hell is this about? It's like time travel, weird science fiction, fantasy, which Nolan does best. I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. And it doesn't have a Leonardo DiCaprio to back him up. I'm not saying that there's not great talent behind this movie, but there's not like this talent that everybody in the globe knows. Because everyone knows who Leonardo DiCaprio is. My mom even knows who he is. And that's saying something. So you don't have to start, it you don't have to, start him to back it up. You have a pandemic that's scaring people. And with numbers and like things going up and cases... I have to ask you, is it worth it? Are you are you going to risk it for the biscuit to get two and a half hours of entertainment for a possible lifelong disease, injury, causes, whatever? 
Like, are, is that a risk you're willing to take? I'm not going to scare you guys from leaving the theater or not going because I'm not your dad. I'm not your father. I'm not your mentor. You do you. As long as you, if you go out there, just stay the hell away from me. Anyways, guys, I want to hear your thoughts down below because honestly, I am curious to see how many of you are actually curious to go and it just wants to go to the theater. I want to know. Um, and if you say, uh, I want to go, but I'm, a, I'm afraid to say because you're totally against it, even though I'm against it, I am intrigued to see who, how many people are going to go because they need a lot of money. They need a lot of money to make uh, like the budget back. Because I think the budget on this was like two fifty, it was it's it's two hundred fifty million, so a lot of that money comes from opening and weekend, and it become and it being that close is very sketch. And let's be clear though, July thirty first is not a confirmation date because they were so sure of themselves that seventeenth was going to be the date that they release. They were so sure of themselves, and you know Nolan being apparently he's an egotistical asshole. He's saying we're going to save the movie industry before and after the pandemic. He's like, we're going to save the movie industry. And like that's not how you save the movie industry. That's going to just tell people that ee! You're, you're, you're hurting the studio more because studios are losing money. By releasing this too soon, you can prematurely like ejaculate and just lose a lot of money on top of the money that the studios are already losing. And that can lose a lot of jobs and therefore you're doing a lot more damage to the industry, then you're doing good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut off right there. I want to hear your thoughts down below. I have a Twitter, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. I have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Gumps videos. I have so many tiers. I think you guys will like it. I'll be releasing a specific video just for Patreon. Make sure you go over there and support it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that shit. Bye, peace, later, and all that.